Now we have to prove that the slope estimator is unbiased. We have the model yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. We've already proved that beta 2 hat in deviation from, it could be written as summation of xi yi upon summation xi square. This we have already proved. So, in fact, your beta 2 hat could be summation xi. In place of yi, you can write yi minus y bar upon summation xi square. These are just the deviations from mean. So, small xi is basically xi minus x bar, that is deviation from mean yi is yi minus y bar. Clear? So what do you have is, what do you have is summation of xi yi minus y bar summation xi upon summation xi square. Okay? Note that this would be equal to 0 because of summation of deviations from mean. So summation of xi which is equal to summation of xi minus x bar this would be equal to 0. Okay so what is left out is summation of xi sorry this is not small yi this is capital yi xi into capital yi upon summation of xi square. This is what is left. So what do you have here is that now you can write this uh, you can write this uh, xi upon summation xi square as say ki. Okay this is non-stochastic. So xi are assumed to be non-stochastic, so ki would also be non-stochastic. Now, there are some properties of ki in case if you look at it. Summation of ki would be what? Summation of ki would be summation of xi upon summation of xi square. What we have assumed that Ki's are xi upon summation of xi square. Summation of ki would be summation of xi upon summation of xi square. So this will also be equal to zero because this numerator would be equal to zero because again for summation of xi is equal to zero. That is sum of deviations from mean. So that is your first property. Property A. Property B would be what is summation of ki square? Summation of ki square. this would be equal to summation of xi upon summation of xi square whole square. So this would be summation of xi square upon summation of xi square whole square. So this would be 1 upon summation of xi square. Clear? Then the next property is C, which is summation of ki xi, which is equal to summation of ki into xi minus x bar. Small xi could be written as xi minus x bar. So this will become summation of ki into capital xi minus x bar into summation of ki. But you have already proved summation of xi is equal to 0. So this part is equal to 0. So this would become summation of ki into capital xi. Okay. Now, what this, what would this mean is you can write this as summation of 
Oh, even I got confused here. You don't even have to write like this. Summation of Kixi, it could be written as uh, Yeah, no, no, that, that's right. Summation of Kixi, which will be summation of, in place of Ki, you can write small xi upon xi square. Okay. Uh, in place of Ki, you can write xi upon summation of xi. In place of xi, you can actually write, you know what, small xi is what? xi minus x bar. Huh? What is capital xi would be? xi plus x bar. So this would be, this would be uh, small xi plus x bar. So this would be summation xi square plus x bar summation xi upon summation xi square. But this part again would be equal to zero, summation of deviations from mean. What is left out is summation of xi square upon summation of xi square summation of xi square upon summation of xi square both of these will get cancelled out and we'll have one so you have three properties one which is summation of ki is equal to zero other summation of ki square is equal to one upon summation xi square and summation of ki xi is equal to one Fine. So what do you have? You have the model yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. Okay. Well, you have beta 2 hat as summation of ki into beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui okay your your beta 2 hat was what summation of xi yi and summation of xi yi upon summation of xi square so you have you have formulated it like this summation of xi into yi upon summation of xi square, which you can write this as summation of ki yi. Okay, but in place of yi, you will write this model, which is this, and this will be beta 1 summation ki plus beta 2 summation ki xi plus summation of ki ui. But you know this that this is equal to 0, this one is equal to 1, okay? Whether you prove summation of ki into small xi equals to 1 or you prove summation of ki into capital xi equals to 1, it is one and the same thing, okay? So what is left out is beta 2 plus summation ki ui equals to beta 2 hat. Now what you can do is that you can put the expectation sign there and you will have E of beta 2 hat E of beta 2 hat is equal to E of beta 2 which is same as beta 2 plus Ki summation Ki will come out of the summation sign you, ha you will have E of Ui you will have E of Ui but this is assumed to be 0 by the assumption of classical linear regression model and you will have e of beta 2 hat is equal to beta 2. So what do you have proved is that beta 2 hat is an unbiased unbiased estimator of beta 2.